Chess friends, I hope you're doing well, AlphaZero is renowned as the strongest chess AI player, he is highly regarded for its sharp and strategic mastery, today I'll present the second game between AlphaZero and Stockfish, where I take on the black pieces, so let's go, Alpha started the game with e4, we have c5 and here you can go with knight f3, let me show you an opening trap, knight c6 d4 open Sicilian, black can choose either d6 or e6, knight f6 is also a popular choice. And the game developed in the classical variation of Sicilian after d6, bishop e2 g6 bishop e3, black plays castle in the short side while white is trying to attack with bishop h6, a6 rook e1 getting the file, queen c7 g4 to push the army in kingside but black doesn't care for it and he goes with b5 maneuver, g5 and if your moves back his knight on d7 then he will fall in our chess trap, knight d5, attacking to the queen and the another knight is creating pressure to the c6 knight. If black plays queen b7 to protect his knight from the attack then simply take the piece to give him a fork on e7, you will lose the queen. Two things are infinite, the universe and human stupidity, and I'm not sure about the universe, so back to the position, alpha 0 played knight c3, another good opening, e6 and I want to go with a Kelly variation knight c6, this e6 move is a very significant move to block the bishop diagonal and a6 prevents the light square bishop entry, knight f3 a6 and we have center exchanges on d4, this a6 and e6 move is very crucial, d6 knight c6 queen c7 are the future moves, here. Many intermediate player push his e-pawn, saying, wow I am targeting to the knight and I get big space, no fool, you created a weakness on f5 square which will become our outpost for the knight, so in this position we have d6, alpha can go with g4 g5 bishop e3 then long castle, alpha could play like this but he played with his own style, f4. Queen f3 bishop e3 are coming, I played b5 and after few moves he played castle to push the f-pawn, it is his strategy to open up the file in future if needed, before knight escapes knight c6 c3 and I played bishop e7, look, it's 3 versus 2 pawns in queenside, but I give up a pawn in queenside on b4 square, his structure is dominating me, rook b8 a3, he want to play bishop e3 to get this position for the knight, play rook c1 to enjoy the open file. Bishop is targeting to the pawn and the queen have a very good semi-open file, so I played a5, bishop d2 takes queen c2, queen d7 sacrificing the pawn away, but you can't capture the pawn because of bishop takes knight, for this reason we have a takes before, what should black play now? If you think what about pushing the center pawns? Let me show you the variation, if you push the e-pawn then after bishop e3, takes knight b6 targets to the queen, queen is more important than a bishop so queen c7, rook a7, sacrificing the rook away, black have only two options to consider, if you capture the rook then after queen takes. Check, king f8, knight check, king here check, and the game will be checkmated in just few moves, close your eyes for two seconds and see, this is a checkmate. It takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to our enemies, but just as much to stand up to our friends. So back to the position, if you dare to play rook b7, saying hello rook how are you, then we will send a mail to the queen, queen has to run, knight b6 targets to the queen again, queen c7 takes takes and think, what should white play now? If you answer me correctly, your brain has an IQ of 121, which is 1 points up than Stephen Hawkins, it's not moving up the knight and castle, it's bishop a6, sacrificing the bishop away, black can't capture the bishop because of the same tactic which we discussed before, queen and knight will bombard to the king, so queen here bishop b5, the bishop is pinned and the targeting to the bishop, there is no way where black can survive from white attacks. King f8 is like a suicide in California jungle so if black plays king d8 then we will bring our another piece, Alexander the great rook, takes check here and it will be a checkmate in two moves. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder and it may be necessary from time to time to give a stupid or misinformed beholder a black eye, so back to the position, I played knight f6, knight c3 castle b5, John Cena is arrived on b5 square, you can't see the pawn when he will be promoted, bishop b7 and rook a7 looks pretty good but every move have its own weakness, d5 and you may capture the pawn, blundering the game immediately on the board. So in this position alpha played rook d1 to attack me fundamentally, 
Some moves later I pushed the d-pawn, capturing the pawn doesn't bring any advantages for black, so he played e5 to maintain his structure, knight e4, looks like the knight can be captured by many pieces but you should remember that your c3 knight is pinned, for this reason alpha played bishop e3, sliding one piece from the rook line. So white can capture the knight and you can't capture back the bishop, because the rook is attacking to the queen, and here you might think of playing d4, targeting both of the pieces but after takes, the pawn is absolutely pinned, takes takes queen slides takes, you will lose material and chess friend, if you want to play always best moves and become a chess master then you can like and subscribe to my youtube channel, back to the position, I hide my queen on e8, queen e2. Playing a normal looking move doesn't bring any advantages for me for this reason I sacrificed my rook ok c3, to play knight takes c3, forking the queen and rook at the same time, queen c2 take take h6 bishop d4, activating the bishop and queen c7 is coming, alpha have a pass pawn and well pieces combination, queen d7, if you dare to capture the pawn then after bishop takes f5, queen capture d6, king h8 rook b1, attacking to the pieces, queen c7 queen b2, targeting to the bishop here, bishop takes g7. King here. Takes queen f2 and it will be a checkmate in just 11 moves. Logic will get you from a to z, imagination will get you everywhere, so back to the position we have rook c8. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.